What's up, guys? I uh, got an update on this little Chevelle or Malibu wagon, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, trying to put this thing back together. It's just rough, but floor pans are done. Firewall's done. Firewall's painted. Windshield channel had to get replaced. It's completely rusted out. Um, started putting the, I put a new dash pad. Just threw a random bench seat in it that I had laying around. Put the cluster back in. I still got to finish up all the dash and everything, all the wiring. I started doing a wire tuck on it. Um, I set a Camaro LS1 radiator in it and just made, I had like a sign laying around that I just made a little mount for. Uh, windshield wiper motor's back on. The grill's back in it. The whole front clip is on. I used the old rusty fenders um, for now until I decide if I'm gonna replace them or not. I hate to replace them because of the patina. Got the front end back together. Got the sign in there, holding the radiator. I'm gonna make a cover for this to cover all that up, but still gotta tie a little bit of this up and I gotta loom all of it. Um, get it all loomed up, I'm waiting on loom and a couple other things. I've got it all tucked back behind the fender. I still gotta tuck all this. That way you're gonna see very, very minimal wires. Um, I like to try to keep everything as clean as possible. It's as minimal wires as I possibly can. Um, waiting on torque converter bolts, bell housing bolts, and I was gonna put the 6.0 in it, but the 6.0 is not done, so I'm gonna set this 5.3 in there for now with the, that 4080. Get them two together and probably throw a, a turbo on it. Even though I said I wasn't gonna do it this time. I'm on a little eBay GT45. I'm gonna put it on there. Shop is a wreck right now. We've just been going crazy out here. Me and uh me and Blakely out here um, buffing on this thing today. I sanded out like there was a few spots on the rear quarter panel that somebody had did some bondo work because I guess it got hit at one point in time. Like, just not anything crazy, just a small gash. And uh, I sanded all the, all the Bondo out because I just don't like to have any Bondo. I'd rather it just be bare metal and um, look, you know, ratty with the patina and stuff. So, I still got to do this front fender, but I've done both the doors and the quarter panel, and it turned out pretty slick. At least it's shinier than it was. Cause it did look like this. That's how flat it was right there. Now that's what it looks like. That's a little bit of wet sanding, getting a lot of the heavy imperfections off. And then uh, going back with the buffer, a few stages on the buffer. Um, as of right now, it's pretty much where we're at. This is all painted, all painted up. Firewall's all done. Um, the floor pans are done, even though you can't really tell. They're like super dirty right now. But uh, that's where we're at. Hopefully next week, my buddy's gonna ride over and we're gonna get 480 mounted to the 5.3 and we'll throw it in like Tuesday or Wednesday and then I'm gonna order a set of turbo headers and start building out the turbo kit stuff. And I think I'm gonna stick the turbo out of the hood because I've never done that and I've always wanted to do it. So uh, at least halfway, I wanna trim the hood really close to the turbo that way it looks nice and clean. And um, I'm hoping Get all the piping done. Maybe go with a Holly, Holly High Ram or something just for looks, really. Because, I, I mean, the power it's going to make, maybe four, five, 450, 500. 
I just don't really need a, a high rim. But uh, I would like it to powder coat everything the same color. All the piping, the high rim, the turbo uh, housing, all that stuff. I'd like to powder coat it all. I don't know if I'm going to do it blue or if I'm going to go with like some crazy, like weird color. But um, I'll uh, update you when we get the money and trans put in this thing. Appreciate it. Bye.